I think that Vertex needs to put this on like the warning label. <laughs> like may cause a strong aversion to cilantro. Good morning guys. I've been upstairs in the working room working hard today and i'm ready for some lunch i think i'm gonna have some of this, some of this asian chopped salad I, we had gone to uh the little local orchard and they always have free cilantro so i'll add lots of cilantro to my salad but fun little fact well here's another fact i just opened these lattice cut potato chips and aged cheddar and black pepper they're really good that's my review. Speaking of cilantro, I have a theory. In the last two years, Mary has developed a strong uh, repulsion, aversion. is that aversion to cilantro? She's never liked cilantro. <laughs> you know how it's like genetic, like some people like cilantro, some people don't. Well, she's always been like, I don't like cilantro, but it's always been fine like, in like a Chipotle yeah. burrito in their white rice. They put in cilantro and like in a lot of salsas, <laughs> there's cilantro. In the last couple of years, Mary will, will, will often split a burrito and she's just like picking out the cilantro. She's like, this is disgusting. I can't. Um, I and try not to be like. No, she's not. I, I try not to be like overtly saying like this is disgusting. It's not. Yeah. It's, I wish I liked it. Yeah, but she just has this aversion to it. My theory is that Trikafta caused her taste buds to change or maybe it cleared up her sinuses enough yeah. that she tastes cilantro more. More that, strongly. Yeah, maybe like the... She tastes it the same as she always has, but now she just tastes it stronger it like, because of Trikafta. Trikafta awakened my cilantro receptors. So I think that Vertex needs to put this on like the warning label. <laughs> like may cause a strong aversion to cilantro. I have something to show you. Okay. I want to get your initial reaction. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That sounds Isn't Isn't good. that something you like, this donut? I do like apple cider donuts. I have a, she showed me an ad for Dunkin' Donuts, <laughs> apple cider donuts. I do have like a, apple cider donuts are one of those things where they have to be good. Like, I'm not sure Dunkin' Donuts is gonna make the cut for a good apple cider donut. Up in Massachusetts, there were some like local places that made some really good apple cider donuts. But I did see like the local, one of the local Durham donut shops has an apple cider donut right Do they? now. That's probably pretty good. But we could try the Dunkin' Donuts. Well, I did find a Dunkin' Donuts gift card that we need to finish up. Okay, then yes, let's get one. I don't I'm, know. I'm making some lunch, you want any? Um, I want to want some. She wants to want. But I don't. Do you want some cilantro? I, <laughs> it's interesting. It does not taste like soap to me. I would, I'll say, I would never describe it as soap. It just feels like my body is like, ah, something in there that does not belong in my mouth. Yeah, it, it is like it's inedible to me. Yeah. It's not, yeah. I would describe before Trikafta, it was like, I wouldn't seek it out, but I don't pick it out of my food. Now, I'm like, I don't think I want Chipotle. Uh-huh. But your thought is we try the brown rice. Yeah. I don't know if they put cilantro in the brown rice, but... How are these? They're pretty good. Did you do a taste test? I, I just tasted it and said it's good. Uh-huh. All right, I gotta make a salad before I eat too many Hi. chips. Okay, so earlier, <laughs> this was happening. What is it? Oh, you want to go outside? Okay, so I was like, you're not gonna like it. It's raining. And he came out here and like right about here, he started walking like his spine didn't work. He was like, oh. <laughs> He, he was like, oh, oh, because <laughs> it was raining and it was dropping on his back. And he was like, can't 
walk in the rain. And I said, yeah, I thought you wouldn't like that. <laughs> Hi. dog in the sun. just was looking for Mary and I found her in the baby room. Mama throne. Oh yeah, she's wearing her mama t-shirt. Um, had something I was going to tell you. Tell me. Say what you need to say. Oh, I got hungry after I worked out. Oh good. And I ate an entire Tuna fish sandwich. No. Aww. Yeah. Nice. I tried the skipjack one. It was good. Great. She got three different kinds of tuna to try out. Yeah. Nice. I'm gonna go work on the sidewalk. Oh, good. Yay. It's dinner time. We're having, what is this? Like a Caesar salad? Yep. Caesar salad, ravioli. Magic miracle. We were on our way home, Mary goes, is there a store in between here and home? Because I need Parmesan. And we, there was not a store. And we don't have any Parmesan. But I opened the salad kit bag for the Caesar salad and had a little packet of Parmesan. So she's gonna put that on her ravioli. Yes. Can I show the little outfits that we bought? I bought, he was in the car, he had a phone meeting. I had a conference call and she went in and went shopping for some baby clothes. At the kids consignment sale. Okay, newborn, little like velvet zipper suit. Adorable, you got that for free, right? Yes, and then this one we saw last time and then we ended up talking about it later and so I knew I should probably buy she, it. She couldn't stop thinking about it. Yeah, it's so cute. It's so and cute. And we have a friend who is expecting a little girl. And so we figure if the timing works out and we do or don't have a girl, whatever, we can pass the things on to our friends. Yeah. Okay, and then this is for whoever comes, boy or girl, a little Christmas zip up. And then this like bamboo boingy We love the bamboo outfit. clothes. And it comes with this. I'm not sure what they're calling these these days, but it's a hat with Love a little, it. like, Love turban sort of hat. Love so it. So cute. So, anyway, it was super fun. So fun. All right, let's eat. Well, our Wednesday evening in our backyard gathering was canceled because of weather. But again. instead, again, I know. But instead, we did a Zoom call, which we haven't done a church Zoom call in a long time. So that was really good. It was good to see everybody and just have like a real life chat. And we peeled some apples. 
Are we gonna do this tonight? Do you wanna save them for tomorrow? They're all gonna go brown. He's out of water. We could put lemon juice on. Um, yeah, I could go ahead and let me start the oven. When, when we're gonna make an apple pie here. Is that all right with you? Yeah. Is that enough apples? I think we'll peel the rest. The rest? There's not that many more. That's already four cups. We'll see how they fit in the pie. I don't cook with a recipe. I cook with my heart. We just took a walk in the brisk, not brisk at all, the pleasant evening temperature, mm -hmm. and I saw a real big toad. That's amazing. I love it. I loved it. And here is my toad. You my toady. A big fat rubber frog. A big fat rubber frog. That's my hairy boy. Have you ever told them how he is your big fat rubber frog? I always used to sing this song as a child. I want a big fat rubber frog. I want a big fat rubber frog. And I'd sing that and dance around the house. A big fat Rubber frog, I want a big fat rubber frog. And it was referring to like the carnival game frogs, right? I think you're right. I think it was implanted in my mind from watching the carnival game where those big fat rubber frogs go flying across the, pound it and fly it across, you know? I'm guessing that's where it was planted in my mind. And so my parents growing up always tried to find a big fat rubber frog for me. And I had many rubber frogs, but apparently none of them satisfied that big fat rubber in my mind. And there have been times in my life where we've tried to buy from the carnival man, like could we buy one of these big fat rubber frogs? And the answer was no. But anyway, we realized when Harry entered our family, he is the fulfillment of the big fat rubber frog. He's just warm. And that's great. That means it's a big, fat, cuddly rubber frog. We were laughing about that on our walk tonight. That toad was fat and happy. And he jumped into a gutter tube, so he was happy as a clam. Okay, here's where we're at in the process. I threw in some sugar, some brown sugar, some... I I noticed we had a thing of pumpkin pie spices, so I just used that. Might add a little extra cinnamon to give it that cinnamon apple flavor. Um, but the kind of pumpkin pie covers the nutmeg. And um, I did some lemon juice, some salt, and yeah, that's about it for the filling. And then I've got a couple pie crusts that I'm letting get to room temperature before I unroll them. Made that mistake many times. I know that we have mentioned this, or told this story many times, but back before we were vloggers, back in like 2011, 2012, first year of marriage, we lived with this elderly man and I made so many apple pies during that season. We lived there like summer and fall of that year was when we, I think we moved in in the summer. And then that fall in New England, I, apples were so good and I'd just come home from school I was in seminary at the time come home from school and I think it was kind of like a therapeutic thing for me to go in the kitchen and make an apple pie and so I never did use a recipe I just kind of like threw ingredients in and made a filling put a pie crust on it and we're gonna throw this in the oven apple pie is out of the oven Letting it cool a little bit before we have some apple pie and vanilla ice cream. We're gonna wrap it up here, friends. And Harry, you wanna end it tonight? Say, as always, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. <laughs>